You can now control access to XD prototypes in design specs using email notifications. Team members can be added or removed at any time, and shared designs are easier than ever to view, comment on, and approve in a unified, shared with you web interface. Let me show you this workflow in action. I'm here in Adobe XD, and I want to share the work I've been doing with my team members. I have a design colleague, Ike, and Katie is our manager. She oversees all of our projects. The prototype is ready to go live on the web, but our client is very sensitive about the content, and I want to make sure that anything I publish is secure. What I can do is create a private invite and share it with only the two people that I want to see this design. To do that, here within prototype mode, I'm going to go to the Share dropdown on the upper right-hand corner, and in that dropdown, I'll select Publish Prototype. From here, I want to create that private link, so I'll click New Private Link here towards the bottom, and I'll click to create that private link. So now that the prototype link has been created, I can come in and invite both Ike and Katie. To do so under name or email here, I'll start typing the names in. So Ike, Ike is actually someone that I've shared prototypes with in the past. I can see as I partially type his name how he comes up in the list. I'll come in and select him, and I want to also add Katie. Now I've not added Katie in the past, so I'll type out her first name. And again, I'll hit return to add her to that list. At any time, I can come into this prototype and remove either of these names or add a new name. I'll go ahead and give a quick note letting them know what I'm asking them to look at. And with the message complete, I'll go ahead and hit the invite button. Notice that I get a notification letting me know that the invitation was sent successfully. One thing that's new with the private invite feature is that stakeholders can have secure access to prototypes and design specs without having to pay for the Creative Cloud software. Katie falls into that category, so let me show you what her experience would be like. I'll start by switching over to Katie's email client, and you'll notice here's the email that I sent to Katie. All she needs to do is click View Prototype, and Katie's given an opportunity to log in to her Adobe ID. Now, Katie hasn't had an Adobe ID in the past. She doesn't use Creative Cloud software, really. So she can go create a free Adobe ID. I'm going to jump off and do that, and I'll be right back. Now, as soon as Katie goes in and creates that free Adobe ID, she's redirected back to the items that I've shared with her. She can now click through the prototype and take a look at the design. Notice that Ike has already jumped in and added comments of his own, but she can come in and if she sees something she'd like to comment on, she can come and add it. Another nice feature for Katie is any prototypes or design specs that have been shared with her for her commenting or approval are all gathered in one place in the Adobe Web Interface. If I click on the Shared Items icon here, it'll take me up one level, and notice that I have a Shared With You space. Right now, Katie just has one prototype shared with her, but if there were multiple items, she would see them all in the interface here. This is an incredibly powerful feature that I encourage you to try out yourself.